it's Dumpster Marcus. Guess what? It's raining. Again. So that means we can't do nothing outside. But I'm going to Verizon. I have to pay my cellular telephone. And then I don't know what we're going to do. Cats are liking that cat food that I got. I buy these containers from the dollar store. And the cat food, I put all the cat food in here and in here. They're liking it. Rain gutters. Nice. Got a bicycle. And literally, my mom asked me for one of these yesterday. She's like, if you ever find a little red wagon, she's like, I'll take it because I want to make a flower bed out of it. So, here you go, mom. The street is so hard looking for garbage because everybody puts their garbage behind their cars because there's nowhere else to park. Nothing. A piece of metal and a big lamp. I just passed my biggest competition of all. <laughs> the garbage truck. They hit up this whole road. All the garbage cans are empty. But I don't think they hit these roads up here. Let's see. Turn the corner and no, they didn't yet. So we got one circle right here and that's it. That's all for today because it's all the roads. I have to start bringing my camera to work and stuff. If I have my camera in my truck, because I got out of work and got that lamp, that lamp, that tree stand, this whole cluster of wires, and well, the sear. Oh, it is. I thought it was like the Sears version of Tari, an actual Tari. Oh, it has controllers. The paddles, one paddle, but that's missing. Oh, sweet. I got. What the power cables here? Sony, an Atari, no crap. I got the whole thing. Let's see if this, bring it inside and see if this works later. But I found this on the ground. Piece of metal, at least. What do we got here? Ooh, a tree stand. Oh no. like hunting blinds that you lay 
lay down and you just shoot uh, deeper. Oh, I can't see. I'm all down here. Mine's down there. I can't believe I found all this. Look, it's stacked to the top. And look, it. if you don't know what it is, it's like, look at that, $139.99. It's a sleeping bag, kinda, and you lay in it and you wait for geese or any kind of birds to come around and you pop out and shoot them. 130, the other one was 100, look at, $179.99. That's the one that opens up so you can shoot. This one, I think, I don't know how it opens up. Wow, that's crazy. Let's see how many we got. All right, <laughs> here's what I got. These are the Gander Mountain Water Flow Layout Blind. This is the foldable design. See it folds? There you go, you can see it better. The opening folds up. These go for $179.99. These are all brand new with the tags, everything. I got three of those. Then I got two of these, which these are an oversized deluxe waterfall fowl layout blind. And these go for $229.99. It's a deluxe, has like a cushion and a bed and everything in there. I got two of those, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six of these. They're just the, the cheapest layout blind. See, it looks like just a book bag. You open it up, that's where you lay right there. These ones go for $139.99. It's just like the simplest thing. It comes with like a little backrest you put up against there. And then all these things you shove, you know, I hunted in cornfields before, and then you break off all the corn and you stick it all in here to make it look like just you're in corn. And then when the, the geese come or whatever, you bust out and then you shoot them. So, 
<laughs> this was the biggest score ever. Oh, here's one of them. What is this? Gander Mountain Honker Standard Water Flow Foul Layout Blind. Uh, that doesn't have a price, but that's brand new in the box. The box is just like water damage. Oh my god. By far the happiest night of dumpster diving. I'm so pumped. This is a lot of money. Let me add this up. All right, I added it all up. It's over $2,400 worth of waterfowl duck blinds or whatever you want to call them. But this is the stuff I got at Five Below. I got two sets of Goldie Gloves. They're brand new. These, all these fidget spinner blocks has like different kind of things. The boxes are just squished. I got three of these colors and one, two, three, four, five of these colors. Oh, and another black one. Throw that black one. It's these things. It has like a, you turn this, you press these buttons, you click these things, you move this ball, you touch this thing. Yeah. I got nine of these. I got one, two, three, four, five spit fidget spinners. They're all in working condition. I'm keeping this green one. Vanessa's keeping one of the black fidget spinners and one of them black clicky things. And I found a couple of these Easter egg things for Cass. There's like stickers and all types of stuff in them. And I found this Disney Easter egg. I don't even know what's in it. Probably candy. And another, uh, this thing you hook your cell phone to. And this peep, uh, sipper. There's nothing wrong with it. And a bunch of these cords, but usually they never really work, so I'm, I just scrap them. But yeah, pumped. I could definitely sell these for a couple bucks at the yard sale because they're just squished and just not open. Sell the fidget spinners. And I looked online at the Gander Mountain stuff and they do sell. The last one sold for like 125 bucks. The ones that were in the store for $139.99. So definitely gonna throw them on Craigslist and try to move them quick for not cheap, but pretty cheap. So 